Yo! What's up, man? Uh, <laughs> kinda weird. But, we live right now. On Twitch. Uh, you feel me? Uh, we are currently doing some reactions, bro. Right now, we are about to react to... Do all high schools think the same, man? Alright. Hey, Twitch. Chat. Say what's up to YouTube. YouTube says what's up to the Twitch. You feel me? Uh, this is gonna be the first time, like, I'm actually kinda doing this. I never really done this before. You know, like posting my reaction and shit. Never really done this before, so. Hey man. I'm excited, man. Let's get it going, bro. I'm good, I guess how you Hey man, I'm I'm living it. I'm living the dream, man. I'm living the dream. You know? Living the dream, man. Let's tap in. Kid, I'm like, wow, what job is he gonna have? He knows more about like, scrolling to the next video than things. like anything that will help him get a job. This is a great no, this is a great video chat. Because most of us are either about to graduate high school or already graduated high school. So like, this is, this is gonna be, uh, especially like, I'm about to graduate kids. in like 30 days, like less than 30 days. Wait, what's the question? High schoolers are kids. Three. Chat, how y'all feel about that? High schoolers are kids. Even the YouTube people, how y'all feel about that? High schoolers are kids. I feel like at some point, from, from, from yo, when you're a freshman to when you're a junior, you're 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 a, you're a kid. You're a kid. But like by the time like you get to like your junior and your senior year, bro, then that's when you become more of an adult for real. But I mean, I know I know seniors that act like they still kids, bro. You know what I mean? But that's just, that's just what I think, man. Like obviously, your freshman year, you come in from being top dog yeah, at, at at your middle school, or whatever. Your your junior high school, or whatever y'all, whatever y'all did. But you know, obviously. We're excited to be there type shit, you know. So we all just gonna be acting like some kids and just horsing around and stuff. But when you get when you, when you get to my age, bro, we're gonna graduate. That shit get annoying. Three, Freshmen two, annoy me. One. Freshmen annoy me. I mean, I mean, I got. I mean, I'm cool with a few. I'm, I'm friends with a few of them, but they annoy me. I feel like to say high schoolers in general are kids is almost like defeating the people who are in the min minority. Like for people like me who have grown up more um, just mature for my age and I guess fitting more an adult mindset. I feel like I can't say for myself that I'm a kid because I definitely make adult decisions time and time again. I mean, there are people who still have the mindset of kids, but I can't say high schoolers in general are kids. I feel like with high school it's such a broad statement to say high schoolers because there's a giant difference between a freshman and a senior yep. like it is that's, that's why like when they try to date each other it's like why is that 18 year old trying to date 14 year old right? like it just thing, doesn't bro. make sense y'all y'all freshman jojo talking to you jojo then i be dating no senior because buddy <laughs> you're close you're you're a victim all right <laughs> You're a victim. Don't do that, buddy. All right? <laughs> Please, Jojo. Please. I, 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 I feel like you'd be naive to ignore the fact that, like, especially anyone who's a senior, they're about to be a legal adult. I think kids need mentoring. That's what, how I see it. I mean, adults, too, need mentoring, but I think kids need that extra help and that extra push. Well, I've seen many kids who have been forced to be older or act older as they are to mature faster. I, that's why I went for a group. What? Triple. You want to move? Yeah, Can go I? for it. Okay, I Talk didn't know through. if I could. What are you thinking? Well, I agree. I feel like there's just so many decisions, especially in high school, that we have to make that are not like kid like, and they expect us to act a certain way and also. Like no, the fact that we're even able to drive, no, how no, should we no. still be considered a kid? Do you mind if I move? Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, sure. I moved because I feel yeah, like, go. especially. You're 15? Next year. At that 16 to 18 age, you're constantly planning for your future where it's actually difficult to live in your childhood. It's just kind of, you're unable to live as a child. So it's like, how can you consider yourself one when you're constantly planning for your adult life and future? When I was a freshman, all the teachers around me always told me that I needed to prepare for my future. And I feel like, especially coming after online school and quarantine, I'm still living in that middle schooler mindset. I'm still basically like a kid living yeah, and won't, preparing won't for my like future, that. which I'm clearly not ready for. You're going to be like that. I feel like kid is kind of a weird word. So like, it's just kid and adult. And I feel like in high school, you kind of want, I kind of want to be thought of as a kid because it's kind of like, oh, he's a kid, right? It's like a, like an excuse almost. Like you're allowed to- you're, Buddy, you're 17 years old, bro. 
I'm assuming you're a junior or a senior. I'm gonna just assume you're 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 a junior the way you're saying this. But you about to graduate. You wanna go into the real world, bro. Alright. So I mean I get it, but like you can't be using that as an excuse no more. You know what I mean? Like I used to. I was like, bro, I'm gonna be out in the real world on my own. I can't be there's no excuses anymore. You know what I mean? So it's That's really I, I really can't no, like look at my classes full of eighteen year olds and say, These are these are adults. Like I feel like now it's later and later we're turning into adults. I don't feel like we turn in I mean, of course there's people that have to pay bills at sixteen, but say yeah, a high schooler idea. is an adult. I feel like I like to know that I can grow so much more from that. Like, oh I did that when I was a kid, not, you know, as an adult. Today's high schoolers have it harder than previous generations. Chat. Mm. That's a great question. I want to call Larry on this. I wish Larry was here, bro. Because Larry would know exactly what to say. I really wish he was here. But I just have it harder than previous generations. <sighs> Let's see what they say. Three, two, I'll see what they say. one, go. I feel like now our generation, we have more resources for help that we need. You know, and way back then, like mental health, that was like, they would put you straight to camp or like right. some conversion, right. stuff like that. But I feel like now there's yeah. just more resources. We have the internet. We okay, but she, okay, she's saying that from like a, a mental standpoint. Yes, this, yes, it's, it's, it's you, we have it harder, obviously. Well, no, no, that's not what she's saying. She's saying like from like a, like a, like a, a, a resource standpoint, like we have more, things available to us to help us doesn't got grown with chill out but she's talking like we got more resources to us like help us with our with our work and shit and and all this stuff you know what i mean so like back then they ain't had it in it like she just said they ain't had it in it we got the internet on here media so like would you have wanted to i get it send a pigeon to your friend instead of texting your friend like you know, stuff like that like would you want to have you so know we bad? just have it easier now i feel like it's a, I don't know, how old is she straight to 16? just have stuff like cool. that like would you want to you, you know we just have it easier you, now i feel like it's an in-between thing because i feel like social situations now are much better but back then they were much worse i feel like there was racism teachers could beat their own kids and i feel like now there's so much things that we cannot do and i feel like it's for the better can i move Go, when I think about this question, I kind of like went to bullying and how much easier it is to get bullied nowadays, especially on social media, because it's so easy yeah, to hide easy behind a bullied, screen. Man. People say worse things. And I think that mental health, maybe it was just as bad back in the day, but because of social media, it's become more prominent and we see it everywhere. Um, another thing that I also thought about was you guys say that we have more resources, but don't you? Well, you don't have to agree, but I feel that the resources have kind of made us a little less smart because we're able to look up that, like, the answer. You ever got bullied, Justin? Yes. Yes, I did. I'll probably say it. Hold on, I gotta do my B-Will. My bad. But, uh, yes, I, I, I would probably say it. Yes, I did get bullied. I did get bullied. It was back in, like, fourth grade. We're still in a business. No, I, I can't look. I got bullied in fourth grade. Um, this was some bullshit for real. But like, it was cool. It was no, you know what I mean? It was it was that weird. I was going through a weird transition in school for real because the way my school worked, it was yeah, elementary school was like three. It was like K through third. And you had upper elementary school was like four through six, and and like from K through third grade, all of my friends were white. Okay, I went to a, do, a more, more dominantly white school. Okay, it was a few. It was a few of us. It was a few of us black people though. It was. It was. It was a good. A, a good solid handful, but it was mostly white. Okay, and most of my friends were white. When I went to 
up in elementary school, went to fourth grade, it was just, it was a transition where not only the people from my elementary school went over there, but we have three elementary schools in where I live at. We have three elementary, three different elementary schools in the same district. And all three of those elementary schools combined it into the, and going to the fourth grade. So I went to the predominantly more white school, elementary school, and the other schools were black, were mostly were like black and then evened out a little bit. So when I, when I collided and, you know, black people and white people came together, y'all ever heard of white flight? I started working out at three years old, so I, bro, come on. Like, on some real shit, though. Y'all ever heard of white flight? That's literally what happened. Most of my white friends left Cause, cause, because we started coming in. So most of my white friends left. So I had to make, I, I, I literally, I literally had to get all new friends. Like I literally had to make all new friends, bro. All new friends. Like all my, like, they, like damn near all my friends left. And I made all new friends. All my, and then now most, I ended up, most of my friends were black. You know what I mean? So that's just how, that's just how it is, man. So, uh. This is that transition. So when I didn't do that, I wasn't around black people all like that. So it was things that I, I was hearing and things that they were saying that I didn't know. I never heard before. And it was some. It was some things. You know, some back nowadays. Nowadays, that's it, what what was said to me. Nowadays, was just, it's just trolling. That's why I don't care. That's why I'm not tripping about it. Nowadays, that shit is just trolling. But back then, I didn't know what that shit was. So I thought it was getting bullied. And I looky kind of was. Because like, they was looking like, like being on my dick about it. But that built character. Now, years later on, I see the dude that he's bullying. And I had more clout than him. <laughs> I had more clout than him. <laughs> and niggas ain't really fucking more like that. You know what I mean? So it just it built character. But bullying builds character, bro. I'm just keeping it in the book. For me, it's just that's in my experience. It built character. So it built me who I am today. You know what I mean? So it's kind of thickens your skin though, but bullying isn't cool. Bro. I'll just keep it. Up. Bullying really ain't cool, but it builds just it builds thicker skin. In middle school, it was like ninety eight. It's like ninety eight percent black and Hispanic kids, barely any white folks, by less than ten. See, for me, it was the opposite. It was the opposite. It was a complete opposite for me. So, yeah. Answers to our test or like. I don't know, everything's just so much more accessible that we're, I'm not really learning yeah, that's true. as much as like she my mom and dad though. did. She so I kind of like sad that all our resources are so much more accessible. Yeah, we like, I know some dumb, you know, yeah. people like, know. they're like, yeah, yeah. is it hot outside? And then they'll go to their phone and check the weather, like just, just go, outside. go outside, you know? I feel like school right now is so easy for our generation. Like it is so incredibly easy. Like, especially now that I'm in senior year, I mean, I'm not taking incredibly hard classes, but like they don't even give you homework because they know you won't do it. Yeah. Like it's like yeah. they would rather have you pass than like teach you something. And like the amount of kids that held back is like nothing. Like it's just, oh, keep going ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And so like anyone seeing like nowadays. classrooms from like they really, older like, bro, I know some kids that don't be going to class and they still be passing. Like what? <laughs> like what, bro? Make Generations, no sense. it seems like, oh, they're like learning. There's more respect to the teachers. Now, like there's like such little discipline that every class is just like a muck. I feel like just because things are easier does not mean it's better. My friend goes to college in San Diego and there's literally a group chat for people in a nursing major just to cheat on the work. And if we're having nurses that don't even know how to like give you medicine, stuff like that, it's scary. I did want to hit on how the pandemic impacted you guys. Yeah, I think it did impact our generation. I know personally, yeah, I was I was always so great at talking growing up and then going into coronavirus, not really like talking to my friends a bunch, nah. like being kind of like. For me, when, when, when the pandemic hit, a lot of cats struggled. A lot of cats struggled doing, doing schoolwork online. Motherfucker, I excelled. I damn near had 4.0s, man. I damn near had straight A's. I basically had straight A's, bro. Like, I was so locked in, cause like the way it worked, I would have like three or four classes. Oh, you could shit. I have like three. I have like four class, three or four classes each day, and then I'll have it'll be Wednesdays will be off. I don't know if people didn't get, right. I don't know if people didn't get good grades, bro. I really. The only reason people did not get good grades 
over the pandemic because they just didn't log on. They just they just didn't do anything. They just didn't do anything. Like, bro, everything was right there for you. Just cheat on everything. Exactly. You just cheat on everything. And it, the teachers know you're doing that, too. They know you're doing that. I had a, te- I had a teacher. They are like, hey, just do this. Just do this. Uh, <laughs> the notes on, 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 on here. Just go on and do that. You feel me? Like, bro, everything's like, she just like she said, everything's accessible to you now. Like, bro, water break? Shit, y'all got to drink your water, man. Everything's accessible. So, you not passing just means you, you didn't use your resources. Basically. I don't know. It's stupid. Antisocial and to myself, coming out and having to talk to adults was like terrifying. I didn't want to do it at all. I didn't, I couldn't even talk to like my Miss peers. When I went back to school, I felt like I was still in eighth grade in middle school. So it was very hard for me to adjust. And this was definitely like the biggest change like that affected our generation. If you think about it, yeah. you know, we didn't deal with the bubonic plague or a no. big, you know, stuff like that. Like we, this was the biggest impact. And I remember going back to school, I was so anxious. Like I would take half a Xanax, you know, almost every morning, cause it was so bad. There was this day where we can finally take off our mask. And it was so weird seeing everyone, but I never knew what to do with my face. Bro, my biggest thing was, when I came back to school, all the short niggas were big. Like what? <laughs> what? Everyone that was short was, tall, was taller than me. Everyone that was shorter than me is now bigger than me. I'm like, what the fuck? They're either my height or they're bigger than me. Like, how is that even possible? How is that even possible? I know one dude. He was he was he got to be he had to be at least four five of uh, uh, five foot two, at least five foot two. First time I saw him, I heard his voice. He said, "Hey, what's up, Justin?" I said, "Yo, what's up?" Damn, nigga, like this thing began, like this thing got huge. Like, what the fuck? And here I go. Here I am. With my five, six ass. Like, no growth. No growth. No growth. Shout I'm short. I'm gonna be short forever, man. I'm gonna be short forever. Now my chair, my chair is, is lower, so I look I look shorter, but this is ridiculous. It was just crazy. I feel ready to explore my sexuality. Three. I'm straight. Two, and nothing to say about that. Go. Play that period. I'm straight. Uh. Ghost spurts, ghost spurts hitting. I have no, I have, I have no ghost spurts. I knew wait, I was wait. gay at a very young age. Um, nah, so chat, I, my ribs. I had ribs. I, I, <laughs> I knew I had ribs since kindergarten, man. Like I said, man, my image school was full of white people, so I had all the white girls. I had all the snow buddies, man. I have been, I, I've been knew what I was from the jump. I've kind of so always been ready. I know it's different for other people. Though. Kind I've of always known. Was. Like, I was over here at, like, six years old, like, looking at a TV screen, and there was, like, a boy, and I was like, he's cute. Like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I already knew. So, like, I feel like, I like it that? just depends uh, what you determine what exploring your sexuality is, because at least in my book, I feel be. like I've already <laughs> labeled it, and I'm already confident and oh, happy wow. with who I am. Now it's very normal to explore yourself, and I think even just, like, having sex, it's very very naive for any adult or anyone to ignore the fact that like people are gonna do that <laughs> like it's it's, Who's gay? it's or people around you are gonna do that they're gonna talk about it. Who's gay? Mike Wazowski? No, Who, who's Mike Wazowski? Who's Mike Wazowski? You call him Michael, you call him Mike Wazowski? This is Mike Wazowski? Hold on man Hold on chat, hold on Hold on. Oh, you? Mike was that? Nate, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, it's very normal to explore on, yourself. Man. And I think even just like having sex, it's very, very naive for any adult or anyone to ignore the fact that like people are gonna <laughs> do on, that. Man. Like it's 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 or people around you are gonna do that. They're gonna talk about it. Or you're gonna see it on TV and with the internet. Like we have access to everything these days. No one is judged like for waiting or wanting to try stuff as long as everyone's being safe. Yeah. As long as it's consensual. As long as you're okay. There's nothing. Yo, official now. Yeah, clap it up for Nate, man. Clap it up for Nate. 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 Clap it
Clap it up for Nate, man. Wrong with it. He finds the bag, man. Clean, clap it up for private Nate, chat. Spam them dubs. School. It was very like it was like yeah, a bubble, so proud, you know. And you know, we didn't talk about all that stuff. But now I attend a high school where we actually have wellness classes. Also, social media helps. Those random accounts on my for you page, they're like. How to kiss a boy or something like that. Oh, I don't we, even know. What is it? WikiHow? WikiHow, Wiki sure. Okay. Like, there's just so many courses, you know? That's why you gotta seek them out and find a support system. It's kind of like for our whole generation happening earlier and earlier, like where we get introduced to it with like the internet and stuff. I kind of like it to be delayed. I kind of like to be a kid for as long as I can. But do you feel like people don't take you seriously if you continue they to, don't. you know, act younger and like, Want to be younger? In in the sense of like this question, like that sexuality, yeah. like I I feel like I'd rather because right now it's like most of the pressure no. is just like oh I'm not gonna I feel like I'm so behind because I haven't done this this and this yeah. yet when I'm it should be it. so normal. Yeah. It's important that we do educate ourselves on these topics. Yeah, let's go away. If we aren't, go, that could take a turn for the worse. I feel like approaching it naturally Damn. or. Ma, what was the last time you've been in here? You ain't been in here in a minute. Let's go with you, man. In a professional way, like in terms of like school, if they're providing like health classes, I think that's just the best way to go about it. And I completely agree with you. Like I was also exposed to nasty on the internet and like no one wants to go through that. I don't yeah, think no. that the school should do it because I think it's really weird. You know, I, I, I can never stop laughing personally. Like when I'm in the, a sixth grader and they say the word scrotum, how are you not supposed to like laugh? Yeah. I don't know. What? I think I think it's more of a personal endeavor, but I guess your name's your name's your name's your name's Ryder. Is that his name? Is that his name? Ryder. Why do you get no bitches, bro? No, not everyone's as smart as me. But <laughs> I feel like personally, I'd just like to find that out on my own and maybe be encouraged by the school. But I don't like the classroom. Let's learn about sex of all sitting together as a bunch of teenagers. Like that's yeah, I never, that's I never awful. had health that's like the worst thing I'll ever. Be honest, I, never I feel safe quick. at school. Chat, do y'all feel safe at school? Me personally, you're not safe anywhere. You're, you're, you're really not safe anywhere. So, I mean, you just, gotta, you just gotta be on your toes, you know what I mean? So, hey, I mean, got them shoot. Hey, come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Tee up, tee up, tee up, tee up, tee up, tee up. For real, though, bro, for real. Like, anyone. Anything can happen, bro, so. Three, two, one, go. You're not really safe anywhere. Get up the house! My campus security are amazing. Um, they have a personal relationship with all the students. I've had bomb threats at my school. I've had like shootings literally walking distance down the street where the school had to go on lockdown. It's unfortunate, but also like, it just makes me really aware. Like for every classroom, I have, what's my hide plan? Who are my people? I don't feel comfortable. Chat, y'all got a hide plan, bro? Literally, if someone intrudes to school, right? And then on the other side of school, best believe I'm running out to school and going to my car and leaving. Pfft, going home. Now, if they're on my side of school where I'm at, it depends where I am. If I'm upstairs, bro, you got to barricade up. Barricade up and hide. You feel me? That's the only thing you can do. Or if I'm back on the lower, if I'm out of ground, and on my side, I'm, I'm just going to jump out the window. I'm gonna turn it to a track star, best believe. Putting my phone in the phone chart because if something happens, I wanna text my family. And that's why COVID like lifted a lot of weight off my shoulders because I didn't have to worry about that all the time. Yeah, um, also like a lot of people at my school who have mental health struggles, um, I'm always afraid that like someone won't be properly treated for that and then they'll just snap one day, you know? My yeah. school has had multiple sexual assault scandals. Um, like my history teacher right now, my world history teacher, if it weren't for the current sub, it would be with basically a pedophile. So it's, it's scary. And what? when she mentioned like the bomb, I think I remember last year, someone created an account with our school name and it was like shooting or something <laughs> on this day. Yes, and our school ended up like canceling still. school for that day Don't and it was me. horrible. Amen. I feel so fortunate to have grown up in a really privileged area where there's not a lot of violence. However, I feel like I'd be ignorant to say that a school shooting would never happen. Cause all it takes it is one anymore. kid out of the 2,500 students that I have to take a gun to school 
and shoot people. Yeah. And I feel like there's so many different openings on my campus where that could happen. We Bro, have and like, that's so true when he says that there's so many different openings. But what makes it even worse, people be coming to the school and like, whatever, whatever, like, it'll be someone at, at, a, at a door and they just open the door for them. Like, I don't know you, nigga. And, it, and sometimes it'd it be like actual students that go here. But I don't know you. If I don't know you, I'm not letting you in. Let's believe. You feel me? I'm not letting you in. You want to come in? Go in through the front. Ring the, ring the bell and go in through the front. That's how it is, bro. For real. So, there's a lot of different openings at my... It's a lot, it's a lot of doors at my school, bro. It's a lot of places you can get in at. Gates... But it honestly looks like security a prison. Security good. Yeah, child. Yeah. Be honest, child. Security is not very good. Like if a shooter came in on school, bro. Okay, that's yeah, that's me too. I won't lie. Um, we have security guards. They're not armed, uh, which was a conversation that came up. Should our security guards be armed? And another conversation came up. Should our teachers be armed? You know, there's just topics like that. I remember one. Yeah, this was the, actually recently. The, the teachers being um, armed isn't, isn't a good one idea. One of the though. old students at the college um, threatened to shoot up the whole school, and so even we had to go remote. So it's just like never feel safe. My social media presence is important to me. Obviously now, yes, because I want to make a difference in the world and and show people like more positivity and stuff. And I'm trying to stream. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to reach the top, just like the rest of us, me and Lily and Kane and all, and all of us, Libby and all the all of us content creators. Because I'm a content creator, it, it isn't born to me. But if I didn't, then no, no, not at all. I don't care how I look on social media, bro. I just want to look. Honestly, no, I want to look like I want I, I want to look like me. Kind of showing positivity, kind of showing love, kind of got good energy. That's just me. And I don't, and I'm not letting anybody tarnish that, because anyone that tarnishes that just doesn't know me. So, I mean, to uh, Three, to some of y'all, to most of y'all, y'all don't one, probably don't go. care, but you know, like I, I can, I don't I can, particularly post, like maybe just my story, you know. But like, I'm not like constantly posting. And if you do, that's perfectly fine. Like, that's a lot of people's outlets, and especially creatively. I don't own a single social media, and like. Like not as like a flex. I'm just saying like I I hate the the presence of an app in my mind. Like oh you should do this. Like it's a it's an app on my phone. Like I don't want to give it any part of my life. So I'd just rather not have it. I think sometimes with social media nowadays, it also can fall into career, which is really weird. But that's like what I do. It's like oh I can't post that picture of me like flipping off the camera with my friends because like a college or a a future boss because your digital footprint. I don't I don't I don't. I don't, I don't cuss. I don't cuss on my Instagram. I don't cuss on Twitter. That's the only two. That's the only two social medias I be on. And then TikTok. I don't cuss. I don't. I don't cuss on social media for real. I cuss on here because it's my platform. You know. Just, you know. I, I'm. Just, I'm gonna be me. But I don't. I don't. I don't cuss on. On. on I really need. I really need to stop cussing on here. This is going on YouTube. I really need to stop cussing on here. But I don't cuss on Instagram. I don't cuss on Twitter. Especially Twitter. I chat. If y'all got a Twitter and y'all be tweeting, y'all need to go clean that up. Okay, because they will go through your stuff. Clean that, clean your stuff up, man. Always. And it's so up. real. But I also like, I love having social media. Like I've had it for years. I've always like tried to ground myself and realize that it's just for fun. It's not that serious. There are some people who I know who have like shown or done some really crazy stuff and it's spread everywhere. Like there's some things I do not need to know and people just tell me. Like on Instagram, there's like close friends and there's like normal story and I post on close friends so much more than so y'all got close friends, Or like a spam account. Yeah, yeah, yeah I post on my spam account. I just, if you have a spam account, if you still have a spam account, then you need to glow up. I don't have my spam account no more. So how much y'all didn't even know I had a spam account? <laughs> you can't find it, it's gone. Yeah, like, it's gone. way more. A couple of years ago, I, I would have been right there, like on the strongly agree. You know, like, because when I moved to the new school, a lot of people were like, oh, how many followers do you have? If you had over a thousand, it's like, yo, you got clout. Like, you, you're good. I got no clout. Digital <laughs> footprint. That is no joke. Mm-hmm. Like, 
everything you post will come back at you. I'm so glad Instagram took off that feature where you could see what other people liked. Yeah. Do y'all remember that? That was ridiculous. That's why I'm very aware of what I post. I make sure this is what I want everyone to see. And yet when yes. you're, I'm so sorry. When you're a kid, like you want social media, like when you first find out about it, like when I was nine years old, I was like begging my mom to let me have Instagram. And now like I'm even embarrassed of like the little up. like nice. selfies I would post because like they're so stupid. So like looking back, I'm like, oh yeah, I would totally never let like my seven year old on social media, like, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I actually did have social media very young. Yeah, me too. Um, I got Twitter when I was six. My yeah. my mom made it and managed it. Yeah. But I would still like, I would tweet about like my little kindergarten. Like, I didn't get a social media till like I was in the seventh grade, because like, were you not? Were you a kid? You don't need the last thing you need is the social media. You feel me? That's the last thing you need. I didn't get I didn't get social media till I was, till I was in the seventh grade. You do not need a social media when you're a kid. Okay? Like crushes. Are you like having your mom like to like um, guide like the account? I feel like I didn't have that, unfortunately. So um, I feel like it just depends. Like your digital footprint could be much more harmful. Like when you don't have parents that know how to handle yeah, social media or know how to prevent it. Because my parents, they've never used social media. They don't have a single account. So growing up, like begging i don't think they knew the harmfulness of it and i don't blame them for that at all but i feel like that's what led to me being exposed to a lot of stuff so i feel like definitely with the new generation and if i don't know if i'll have kids but if i do <laughs> they're not on social media at least for me one of those ipad kids i mean those Ooh. kids who use ipads it's My so an iPad kid. addicting it's mm -hmm. so addicting and you need parental controls because social media is Crazy. I just watch YouTube. Like, play games or it. having your that's parents run the account, regardless. It's just so, that's so important. Or even having influencers like Andrew Tate who are like influencing these, like. <laughs> Weddy. <laughs> Weddy. <laughs> Top G, right? <laughs> Wait a minute, I wonder what you gonna say. Oh, that's so important. Or even having influencers oh, like. That's your, that's your boy, ain't it? W Tate. <laughs> Like Andrew Tate, who are like influencing these like right. little like little, boys yeah. to think that that mentality is like normal. Yeah, I feel like social media has drastically altered my personality, especially during COVID. And I feel like if it could change me that much, just imagine a six-year-old having access to a phone for their basically entire childhood. But like yeah, honestly, no. I got so sensitive to being on in front of camera that I feel like I kind of forgot about digital footprint and stuff like that. I have hope for the future. Three. Two, you have hope for the future? One. Of course I do. Oh. I have hope for the future. God damn it. I don't know, man. Seeing an iPad kid, I'm like, wow. What job <laughs> is he going to have? You know, I mean, he knows more about, like, scrolling to the next video than, like, anything that, like, will help him get a job. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like I have very much hope for our and the next generations as, like, I feel we keep getting, like, the younger generations kept getting, like, like profited on and, like, abused almost. When I heard this question, I kind of thought about like, social, like social justice and like the issues that we're experiencing right now. Like there can be a change. And I just really don't think that people back in the day were seeing that type of change. Everything was just thrown kind of under the rug, not really spoken about. I so love to dream like, oh, I would love to achieve this one day. But even if I don't have that financial capability, I still have hope. I hope I could get there one day and I still try to remain positive. Everyone's goal at the end of the day is just to be happy in what they're doing and make a difference in either your own or someone's life. And I think like just by having this discussion, like there's so much hope for everyone in here to go on and be successful in that no matter what it is. So I have a lot of hope for the future and I'm really excited, even though I'm nervous and I'm anxious about a lot of it, I'm really excited to see like in my personal life, like what that means for me, because um, I know I'm never gonna stop until I'm happy with what I'm doing. I mean, I feel really grateful for our generation because a lot of us are very open-minded to having these types of conversations, whether or not it relates to us or exists in our nature. But I feel like people are so open to change now. And I feel like that's just great moving forward. And I feel like a lot of us Gen Z people like, have gone through such traumatic and bad care. experiences that we're gonna become amazing parents one day. Like, I think I remember like during quarantine, there was like a sign in New York that said we had like, 
this many years left and before our world like ends or something. And my sister is an iPad kid and I've seen like, I've seen how she is. And it's like, I, I don't, I want to say I have hope for the future, but just based off what I'm seeing, it feels like there's no change, kind of. Well, W video. Great conversations. Great conversations. <laughs> Great video. Oh, sorry, Jack. Later.